Hello guys. So we'll be making a ducted fan in today's video. I'll be using these two motors and ducted fan. This is a 1000 kV brushless motor and this is a 1700 kV brushless motor. I have already done a thrust test of these two motors. You can watch by clicking on the i button. I have already made a CAD model of ducted fan and printed it parts. These are its parts. I have provided the parts and motor link in the description. All these parts are 3D printed with a layer height of 0.2 mm and 30% infill. 0.2 mm layer height is good for adhesion to increase its strength. Increasing the layer height reduces the time but it will not have much strength. All these parts are printed while using support. Remove the supports by peeling it from the separation edge. And then cut the extra parts. Twist the center part and it will come out easily. These little extrusions you can see is the part of brim. Brim helps in creating adhesion between part and printing surface. Remove these using a cutter. So our parts are ready to be assembled. I'll be using single as well as dual propeller configuration. This propeller will be placed at the front side. The good part of the propeller is that it will be connected using screws. Last time this connector was coming out from the motor as it was a friction fit connector. To avoid this problem, DYS motor has provided these screw holes of M2.5 for connecting the propellers. So I have made this similar holes to connect the propeller with the motor and thus it won't come out easily. So this is the back side propeller and these two propellers are of front side. So if you will see carefully, one will rotate clockwise and one will rotate anti-clockwise and thus I can check both the configuration. I will be using these two for counter rotating propellers and these two for same direction rotating propellers. So let's start with the 1000 kV motor. So first we will connect the aluminum plate with the motor. I will be using 15mm M3 screws to attach the motor. Pass the wires through the hole. Now I will connect this connector with the EDF. The part file of this connector is provided in the description. And this connector will be connected to the rig. I will be using 4 nylock nut. And insert the nut in the holes. I will be using 10 mm screws to connect it. Now I will connect this propeller. So for connecting the propeller, align the three holes of motor and propeller. Then connect M2.5 screws of 8mm length. So this is my test rig and you have seen it in my previous videos. Now I will connect this EDF with it. Now I will connect the battery to check the direction of the motor. And the direction is reversed. And since the direction is reversed, so just swap any two wires to correct the direction. Now the EDF is ready for test. So first I will use the spring balance to check the ideal thrust. And the ideal thrust is about 255 grams. So first I will use this 8000 mAh 3S battery. And let's check its voltage. And it's about 12.5 volt.
So let's add some weight so the thrust rig won't move. Now let's start the thrust test. Its thrust is low, so now I will use this 4S battery. So I have done its thrust calculation at 3S and 4S battery. At 3S, we get 305 grams at 1.84 efficiency. And at 4S, we get 530 grams at 1.63 efficiency. So the thrust obtained is very low because the motor we are using is of 1000 kV. 1000 kV motor has less RPM but high torque. So it is used for two blade propellers of 10 inch or 8 inch. But EDF requires a high RPM or high kV motors. So now we will swap this 1000 kV motor with 1700 kV motor and then perform the thrust test. So first I will check the direction of the motor by connecting the battery. So let's start the thrust test by connecting a 3S battery. So I have performed the thrust test at 3S battery and now I will swap it with a 4S battery. To avoid its initial jerk, so I am lifting it with my hand. I don't know about its thrust but it has a high mass flow rate because the things nearby it moved away. It pushes the air at high velocity thus increasing the mass flow rate. Now I will do its thrust calculation. So I have performed the thrust calculation and found out that the 1700 kV motor gives 600 grams of thrust at 1.42 efficiency using a 3S battery. But when connected to a 4S battery, it gives 875 grams of total thrust at an efficiency of 1.22. No doubt it has a less efficiency but since it has a high mass flow rate thus it fits the perfect requirement for making RC planes and aeroplanes. So now I will check the thrust test using dual propellers. So now I will eliminate this 1000 kV motor and use two 1700 kV motor for dual propeller configuration. And the weight of single propeller EDF is about 193 grams. Now I will perform the thrust test of dual propeller configuration in the next part. So stay tuned guys to check the final result. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you have any doubt then you can ask in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching it.